Hello and welcome. I am doing a quick little bit of Slay the Spire this evening. Probably just like one or two runs. I guess it depends how quickly I fail at said runs. Um, but yeah, I know that I will not be able to stream tomorrow, so I want to make sure that I squeeze a little in tonight. Oh god, oh god, I didn't make it very far last time, obviously. Okay, well, I mean, there's nothing like a little bit of emotional devastation to start off the run, so we can see that we failed badly last time. Let's also go ahead and see if there's a way for me to hit an elite. <laughs> so, it's theoretically possible. I hate to do this. I usually prefer to increase the max HP. You know, Meow's Lament is itself just kind of a burn. But if we go this way, right, there's a chance we hit an elite. Oh, God, this is the one that... the. Uh, I mean, this is the same situation, though, right? Yeah, two guaranteed fights and a question, like, three question marks, right? But this is only two question marks. Why is this two question marks and this is three? Because there's a shop. So this risks it more. And also, it's, like, laden with elites and we're going to die this way. So how about we take this one? <laughs> you know, um, since it should be nice and dangerous for us. Okay, so we'll just do that. That's pretty quick. Um, nice. So, all right. Well, I mean, I like taking loop, but Glacier kind of puts us on a particular trajectory. You know, one that gives us the option to, like, kind of do a frost build, which would be pretty fun. Okay. I mean, we could lean into it. First of all, though, let's go ahead and, like, well, let's remove a defend if we're going to go into this sort of build. And then we will worry about these other concerns. Okay, well, obviously this fight should be fairly easy. Okay, yeah, no, 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 that's that's a scripted fight. We're not we're not scared yet. I like the idea of loop. Let's do it. Okay, so then these two question marks. Okay, okay, let's transform a card. I mean, why not? Okay, it's capacitor, which is alright. Okay, if this is a combat- oh, hell yeah, look, it's not a combat, so this elite is gonna be one tap. So, that's pretty sick. Huh. I guess I'll just take the damage. I mean, we can afford to take a little bit of damage now, because- oh god. Oh god, I can't kill them this turn? Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, whew! Alright, alright. We're good, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was so dangerous for a second. Uh, I'll skip everything like that. I mean, I guess we don't really have a lot of, like, damage capacity. So that's something. Okay, we take one damage here. I, I did... Okay, we haven't, we haven't chosen yet. This seems very dangerous, this path. We could take this far less dangerous route and get an elite, but then it wouldn't give us our, like, our shiny. So, okay. Maybe I do this, and we do loop, and then, you know, we should be fine. Um, I mean, obviously we wouldn't be able to use, like, the auto shields or whatever that one is this time around, but... Cool, he's almost dead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out, like, how exactly we're gonna plan on dealing damage, because without... <clears throat> without something like, um... Uh, not Barrage, Blizzard. Without something like Blizzard, we're kind of hosed. But we'll just go this way anyway and see what happens. Uh, okay. So. Alright. I want to do this, and then I don't really want to dual cast yet. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll make sure that we play our powers first. And that'll be, that'll be the plan. So... We'll play all these. We still won't do enough passive damage to wake him up, which is important. Maybe we get draw a zap this turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then that's fine. Not worried about it. I mean, I'm going to be worried about things here soon, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, so we probably want to do that. All right. Nothing too horrible this, this time yet. Let's, uh, let's put all the caveats in there, you know? Okay. So he won't take any damage this turn, which is great. And also the fact that he's going to debuff us is not going to matter at all, since we're basically exclusively relying on orbs to get us through this. And then, yeah, like he'll, he's got one health. Okay, that's not that bad. Um, okay... 
Well, I mean, I like that. You know, I like taking consume when we have, whoops. I'm just trying to skip to the next elite. I take, keep your treasure. Keep your treasure. I just want to fight elites. That's all I want to do all day. All right. Um, yeah, so this seems worthwhile. And then, I mean, obviously blocking would, would be nice. Oh. Also, let's just go ahead and get this out there. I guess, oh, they regen. I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have waited. Well, whatever. We've done it now. So we'll get loop out there. We'll get capacitor out there. We get a zap out there. And then I, I just, I take like all the damage. Discard pile should be quite a bit of stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> but we still haven't seen our glacier yet. Which, I mean, obviously we're going to draw it this turn. But it hurts. It hurts to see it. Uh, so let's get this out here. Let's definitely get a dual cast. Okay. I mean, we're not going to take any damage. And having Glacier out there, we're getting a passive 8 block. I mean, that's enough to block most of the attacks that are going to wiggle their way through here. I know if we got good draw, the lightning would kill him. Or, sorry, you know, good, good RNG. But, um, you understand. Let's consume again, shall we? And then, yeah, we're going to passively block more than we need to. And I'll just evoke that since it's better than a strike. A strictly better strike, as some people would say. Uh, Alright. I don't really want to do that, so we're not going to dual cast. I guess we'll just hit this guy. I mean, I didn't even play the defend because we didn't need to. Uh, this consume kind of situation is, like, a little off the chain. With this, this Im these improvements in focus, I am not complaining. Sure. But, I mean, <laughs> like, passively, we can basically kill this guy. Sure. Okay, nice. War paint's great. Oh my god, it hit Zap and Dual Cast. Well, we can afford, like, Scrape and stuff now. I like having Chill, but m maybe we actually should take Sunder. Sunder gives us the ability to deal at least, like, some serious damage if we, you know, got to. Um, okay, so Runic Capacitor, I, I just feel like we basically have to take it because we already have Consume. But we can already have more orb slots to begin with, so we can just like, get consume out there and just freaking roll on it. I mean, look at that. That's insane. Okay, so we'll loop. I guess I could have sundered. Yeah, I could and should have sundered that time. But hey, you know, I, I live I live with the consequences of my bad choices on a daily basis. This won't be any different. Uh, okay, so he's going to get 10 damage, 37, but he's going to split it 34. Four, right? So we could do this, I guess. I guess I'm just letting us take 18 to the face, which is probably not a, like a super great call. Oh god, he's been interrupted. Okay, well then we definitely dual cast. And we strike, and he's dead. Okay. I don't think... Oh, yeah. Okay, so self-repair makes it possible for us to continue existing, which is excellent. You know, anything that enables um, continued survival, that's something I, I try to, you know, I try to promote. Okay, so we'll do this, and then I guess I'll do this. We can play our powers, so that's good. Capacitor, though, or not capacitor, consume is a skill, which sucks, but we gotta do it, because it, you know. Okay, so we're taking another 18 to the face, but we're blocking eight, and, like, completely passively, which is great. <sighs> I guess I just won't do anything this time. I mean, because we're, we're at a place where we should be able to block most of his, his interests here. We'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, and then we should be blocking enough. And we'll strike him too. I mean, now, of course, we don't have as many uh, lightnings out there, which sucks, but we will survive. And Thread Needle is actually insane. Okay, so Barrage can be, it can kind of pop off here, but I really like Core Surge. I know it's kind of got some niche use cases, so I probably shouldn't love it to the same level that I do. And the fact that we got War Paint means that it's kind of free. To rest? Listen, don't don't like don't test that that theory, okay? Like obviously it's not like it doesn't hold up in court, I would say, but you know. It, it, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'll get these out here, maybe get capacitor out there so that we can do consume again. I mean look at that. I mean when you get something like capacitor, um runic capacitor, sorry, and you have something like um the power that allows you to like create more as well. It's just it's kinda nuts. Okay, so of course, 
So he'll be hit for 10, so we can safely do this, and this is A-OK. -okay. Um, all right. And yeah, we can hit him with Sunder. He's gonna be at 77. Now he's gonna be at less than that, huh? Okay. Oof. Okay. Hmm. So, I guess if he's gonna split here, then we just hit him for as much as we can, which is unfortunately not too much, but I mean, having two of these slime guys split at 35, that's actually not horrible. Um, and depending on how RNG hits, you know, we might be okay. Let's just throw these out there. Hey, the self repair doesn't matter, but we're just prepping for Ascension 5, baby, that's all. And we're getting used to, you know, needing that. Sure, we'll dual cast. Excellent. Wow. And then, of course, he's going to split, but he won't actually because our lightning is, like, off the chain now. I don't, I don't know about hyper beam. Like, we can actually kind of take hyper beam, but we can kind of negate some of these negative influences that it'll have on us. But, I don't know. You know, it's also going to set us back quite a bit because we have to wait for consume to come back around. It's pretty crazy, though. Hmm. And we don't really have a lot of damage we can do. I guess I'll put it in the deck. I'm interested in fission. But I'm going to do this for now. Okay, I don't really like not being able to gain gold. Let's just take Curse Key because we have a Memory already. So it means we're probably going to luck out quite a bit there. Um, at least that's, that's what I think is going to go on there. I suppose we will find out one way or another. Okay. So... Uh, how do we hit the most elites? You know, how can we suffer as much as possible and then leave me like, but why do I always die on Ascension 2? Okay, so we obviously have to take this path. We'll take the question marky path up, although I think that those two were about as question mark filled as the other. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. That's what they say. So yeah, I mean, like this is, of course, this is a good, good use case for Melter. Which, you know, naturally we're not going to get. Okay, so we should block enough. Yeah, we do. Oh, I mean, oh, we thread and needle, too. God, we're, like, unstoppable with that stuff. Okay, so even if we take a little damage... Listen, the fact of the matter is, I don't want to have to use Hyper Beam at this point. I know it would save us a little damage, but we're already going to heal seven. So, of course, it's not healing to full. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with Hyper Beam at this point. I mean, it's the end of the fight. Okay, I don't need a steam barrier. God, I was obsessed with trying to make a claw build work the last time I did a Slay the Spire stream, and oh my god. I'm just trying to tell you, it didn't go super well, that's all. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, so I mean, if we don't get Glacier early, then, I mean, you know what happens to us. Uh, I don't want to lose the effectiveness of the orbs yet. Now, this core surge, this is core surge's like solitary, you know, imperative use case, but seriously, I love it. Throw this out here. Okay. I can dual cast this, and then we're getting pretty close. I mean, now we could have used Sunder. Of course, we didn't have the energy to do it, but imagine a world in which we totally could have, though. Anyway, but look, we've healed the full, so that's fine. This is interesting. We do play a fair number of power cards. I'm going to do it. I'm pretty sure that in taking that, I've guaranteed that we are for sure fighting the Awakened One. Oh, neat. Okay, anytime we gain gold, heal five. Nice. I mean, free heals is never something that I reject with the defect. Uh, Mercury Hourglass is actually kind of insane for the, the, uh, the beggar to have. That's incredible. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to Storm Capacitor Consume. I know that we should have gotten Glacier out. I know it means that what, we're going to have two turns go by before we can see it again. But, listen. Oh god, it didn't kill him. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I thought that it was going to kill him because I thought it was upgraded. Oh god. Okay, so that was like a bad way to live. Like, maybe just the worst. So, to make up for it, I'll just like double up on my potions. Um... I'm so sorry that you had to witness that. That's the worst. I was like, oh, this is so cool, because, like, Sunder. Oh, God, it's so bad. Um, if we hyper beam, and then I dual cast, 
then everybody dies. I mean, maybe I should have dual casted and then hyper beamed. Probably that's a better way of doing it. Um, listen, we're going to stop thinking about the misplays that occurred in that fight. We're never going to think about it again. Um, hmm. If we use hyper beam, we then can't afford sunder. We can dual cast this, and if the 16 hits one enemy, maybe it works. Nine, so he'd be at 27, which is, again, not not enough there. Okay, so we do this, and then we're just extremely sad because, oh my god, we hit him for nine. He has one HP left, and then we're still going to get hit like a truck, and then our thread needle is going to be useless for the rest of the fight. Oh my god, this is a horrible game, and he even died. I'm not even sure why the guy died. He just died. Oh, my... Well, I was going to say loop, but I don't have anything... Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I've already hyper-beamed, but okay. I see. Let's just get these out here. God, they passively do one. Are you serious? Okay. Whatever. At least we're just taking seven damage here. We haven't found our self-repair yet. Here it is. Let's storm first. Self-repair now. If the two of them will hit him, we'll be in business. If they don't, I'll just cry. Yeah, okay. I'll make plans to cry later this evening. God, we have taken so much damage. I'm entangled. Are you serious? Okay, well, we'll kill him. Okay, wow. Thank goodness. That was awful, though. Just the worst. I'd like an upgraded recursion. So we were going to go this way. And you know what? I don't see a reason why, why we don't. Let's just transform two cards. I'm not crazy about like the way I've done some of these things. We got a buffer and an equilibrium. That's kind of a fair fair trade, I want to say. Okay. They don't have to be non-minions. I just want to put that out there. So I should get my energy back. That's right. That's right. I've made some misplays this game, but this that that wasn't one of them right there. Okay. Uh, I was really hoping, of course, that it would kill the little guy so that he would not attack us next turn. No, he's still, he's still gonna do that. That's pretty, pretty thoughtful of him, actually. Wow. I mean, to make sure it happens, I guess we gotta do this. I shouldn't have played Equilibrium, it didn't matter, but at least we keep a defend for next turn? I don't know where I'm going with that, because I'm not sure that that's something that I find particularly valuable, but here we are. Yeah, let's definitely consume. Huh. We have these two little guys out here, and we can't actually hit them. So I may as well, I guess, dual cast this. I guess I'll loop and I'll self-repair just to ensure we get it out there. I mean, of course I'd rather capacitor. But, I mean, we're not really hurting for orb slots either. So, okay, I wish he wasn't doing that. We can obviously kill them all with hyper beam. But also you can understand kind of the other issues that we'll have. So we do this, and if we throw out a buffer, right... I mean, it costs two, though. And I could, I could like, straight up kill one of them if I just played Storm and then killed one. So we'll do this. And I mean, I know we're not playing our buffer, and so we're going to take a little damage. But taking a little damage, that's, that's like, the name of the game now. We love this. Okay, so we'll do that. That way it doesn't cost us anything. I guess we can sue when we lose one anyway. No big deal, though. Okay, so of course he's going to summon some more little guys, but this time, mm, this time. So we'll dual cast, we'll zap, we can even, well, we're going to play our whole hand is what we're going to do. Wow, I wish he wasn't hitting that hard. You know, I'm not sure, like, what gives him the right, man. Wow. He's kind of, like, bludgeoning us to death, huh? Oh, okay, we can hit this campfire, though. Yeah, we'll dual cast. All right, that's nice. Maybe a little glacier, a little strike. He's going to die, right? Right? I have to, like, I'm, I'm not even sure about the math on that one. Okay, so either consume or glacier. I kind of actually straight up think consume. Oof. Do I need Do I need to take leap? I feel like maybe I need to take leap. I don't want to, but it's what it is, I suppose. Mummified hand is insane. Uh, that's basically like the best news we ever could have had. Go ahead and consume early. Yeah, that hyper beam, man. I'm not, I'm not biting. I wish, we, I wish that wasn't a vulnerable potion. If it was a weakness potion, oh, think about the kind of business we would be in. We'd be in good business, whatever that means. 
Uh, okay, and then, like, let's just... Oh, God, wow, yeah, that's nice. Well, capacitor, and that'll be free, too. I mean, it's just casting a negative effect on us anyway, so that sucks, but... Um... So that's what I mean. I just kind of, like, I say these things. And there's no fault. I'm like, that sucks. But, and I'm like, there's nothing else to that. It just sucks. Like, that's all. <laughs> yeah, like, see the fact that he's going to hit us for, like, even more damage? That sucks. But, the end. I think that's all I got. Okay, so that's, that's brutal. But this next one's our campfire. And, you know, fusion is really nice. And we can totally make it. We'll be completely fine. There's no way this goes badly for us. I've taken on boss fights with 45 health, okay? Like, we can do this. We can take on... Oh, God, it's the Book of Stabbing. We can take on a mere Book of Stabbing. Mere. Mere Book of Stabbing. Oh, my God. Oof. Okay. I mean, maybe I should have picked Glacier initially. It's just that I feel like Glacier isn't really that, like, valuable unless you... Oof. Okay, so he's hitting us for 18, right? So we do enough between these, but then we wouldn't hit buffer. So I guess I'll just do this, so we don't lose buffer. And I'll just play this, and then we should block enough. And I'm keeping the rest of the stuff in our hand, because, you know, no reason not to, I guess. Okay, and then buffer will just protect us, you know, blatantly. Let's do this one first. Oh, buffer's free now. Okay, that's nice. Okay, we'll hit this guy. We'll do a little recursion. There's no point in playing blocks. So I'd rather just hit him with Sunder. Yeah, we're not getting the energy refund, but like whatever. At least we're getting some damage done, which is pretty sick. So I will I will accept that as a fair trade. Okay. Well, I mean, I clearly need some blocks. Uh, we can dual cast and that's just fine. I guess we could do this so we could play everything. Which seems like the smartest possible play. The one that lets you play your hand is probably the winning play there. Yeah, our plated armor wore off. Oof. Okay, I mean, he's definitely gonna die, though. Sure, I'll throw this block out there. I'm not even stressing about those wounds. No big deal. Wow, we, we did this for a potion belt. You guys, we, we did it for a potion belt. Let's all have a moment of silence there. Okay, I don't feel like Core Surge is so great. I need two of them. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. We, we should have... We should have punched this guy in the face, but the fact is, we're not going to. <sighs> Let's just upgrade the cards. Okay, the fact that I hit Glacier, and really, Defend is not a bad one. I would have preferred to hit Leap if we were going to go for, like, defensive cards like that, but that's pretty sick. I will take it and not complain too much about it. Okay, and then we'll dual cast. And, you know, like all things, it just never hits the enemy that I'm hoping it will, but fine, it's fine. We'll kill the bird next turn for sure, so he doesn't go all crazy on us. Yeah, like, what just happened? We just did, it's Mercury Hourglass. Oh my god, that's what it is. Well, at least I can tell sometimes if it's spelled out for me, you know? Okay, well, we don't need this, is the problem. You know, I, I guess I'll play Equilibrium so we keep Sunder, just so we can hit her really hard next turn, but, like, what's the point, you know? Okay, so... I mean, we definitely should buffer, but let's let's try to make these other ones work for us first. Okay, so a free Hyper Beam is kind of hellish, but sure, we'll throw it out there, hit her with a Sunder. And then now, you know, we're not really relying, I'm basically just relying on killing her quickly. Which, you know, it doesn't look like that's exactly what's going down. But we'll take, oh, look, it'll take our buffer for two damage. I mean, it doesn't, it does not matter at all. She's not even going to die. <laughs> oh my god. I hope we draw, well, it doesn't matter, we don't have to draw anything. Oh, Mercury Hourglass got her. Hell yeah. Okay. Bullseye is nice. I don't know. Was it upgraded? But it's a 20 card deck already. But but 3 lock on really seems valuable, doesn't it? Let's look and see if there's anything we should be upgrading. Uh, probably a buffer plus is worth it. Oh, geez. A consume plus, though, if we're always going to play it, like, every single turn. I'm going to do it. Look, I'm telling you. Walking into the boss 54, it's plenty. It's plenty. Yes, he has a hyper beam that does that much damage. Like, what? what's your point? You have no point. There's no point that you're trying to make with that. Don't even stress. 
Okay, we'll do this. That's not what I wanted to hit. I wanted to start stripping those artifacts so we can eventually get lock on for the poor guy. I mean, he probably feels, you know, neglected. Okay, so we'll throw this out here. Got our little mummified hand working for us. I mean, yeah, we can hit them all, but I just, maybe we can get block. Uh, or like not, huh? I know we're wasting it, but I just want to strip those artifacts. I mean, anyway, that's the plan. Wow, taking my buffer, huh? Oh god, I hope I get it back before hyper beam. That's what I hope for. So I'm going to do this so we get Sunder and then we get our money back, right? Then I can block enough and then we can even dual cast. Yeah, there's a reasonable chance we get it back before he hyper beams because he won't do it this turn. Yeah, he might do it next turn, which, you know, I would... I would prefer that he did not, but I, I don't think he really, he takes a lot of requests from me, to, to be perfectly honest. He really? Come on. See, this next turn might be, it might be Hyper Beam, so if we gotta kill this guy, no, it's not. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're still in it. Um, we can now, well, no, it still is just gonna be stripped with the artifact. Oh my god, welcome to hell. Okay, but then we gotta get this back, and then buffer will be two, right? So we can still afford it, thank god. Uh, no, quit tempting me with free hyper beams. I'm not tanking the run like that. Jesus, how rude. Okay, so here it is, and we're going to totally buff through it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to weaken him. Recursion is nice for plasma. Oh, let's throw another fusion out there. I'm not going to bother, you know, playing our equilibrium. There's just no reason, I think. I guess maybe if we could have blocked through the hyper beam, but there was, I think, like a 0% chance on that one. Okay, we'll just do this. I know we'll lose one of our focuses, and that sucks, sure. But I'm, I'm willing to live with it. I mean, because at least, I mean, now, you know, look at the passives on these. It was pretty sick. Um, and, of course, we could afford a hyper beam now. I'm probably not going to do it, but at least we could afford it. Okay, so he's for 26, and we're, we're going to block the whole thing, which is pretty awesome. Oh, look, look, it's finally going to hit. Okay, cool. So we got lock on, so he's going to receive some extra damage from these orbs, which is pretty sick, because we are dealing some damage with them. And then, oh yeah, Sunder cost three, so let's just play that, get it out of here. Cool. Alright, not horrible. Oh man, I don't know. Like, a dark is cool, especially because we get... Yeah... We don't really need bias cognition. We get up there like crazy, you know, on our own without the downside of it. Pandora's box is an interesting one, but I think I'm just going to go with Black Star. I mean, I'm always trying to... Uh, okay, it's Time Eater. At least it's not the Awakened one. I'm really, really bad at the Awakened one, and I don't even know why, man. Like, it's not like... I mean, obviously, it's it's easy to be bad at the Awakened one when you're dealing with... Um, I think we can only get three. When you're dealing with uh, the defect or, you know, any just like powers heavy build, right? But I manage, oh god, we could do this and then hope that it hits Glacier. No, don't be a fool, okay? There's no reason to gamble like that. What compels me? I can tell you right now it is not the power of Christ. This is clearly an unholy urge that I have. Okay, a free fusion is great. That's kind of what I was hoping for. That's not what I was hoping for. Mmm. Mmm. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, honestly, we could probably block through the little splody boy's explosion if we really had to. We don't have to, I don't I don't think, but... Okay. So we're definitely going to play Rainbow. And then we'll Core Surge. And we may as well Bullseye, too. I mean, I'm not trying to hit these guys. Like, I'm not trying to take a lot of damage like that. So, you know, no, no big deal. Throw a little zap out there, maybe a little leap. Hmm. Guess we can just do this, right? Because we can afford to do that. No reason to play equilibrium. No cards in our hand. Nothing like that. So, all right, no big deal. Of course, we could sunder them, but I don't want to take any damage. So this is okay. I can do this and then sunder one of them. And not take any damage still. And, I mean, we're even going to heal. Even though, you know, obviously nothing's going to come of it. Still, still, I can live with this. I don't really want any of this. So I'm going to skip. Even though most of it is pre-upgraded. And we don't even have any eggs. I'm absolutely not. No. 
there's just no way. This one I will do. God, I love this. This is always such an ego boost, you know? It's like you play this and you're like, oh, God, I've actually come so far. Because, you know, most of the time in Slay the Spire, you're just like, oh, I am like a pathetic fool. I mean, it's also because I, I insist on playing these, um, wow, he's hitting for a lot, huh? Uh, but, you know, like I insist on like continuing to, to try to make it in these ascensions. Maybe we can get some kind of good block. Okay, I guess I'll take a transmutation. Okay, uh, well that wasn't great. <laughs> we take a lot of damage right here. Oof, and there goes our thread and needle, huh? No, uh, no real point there. That is painful. And then look, I can buffer him so I don't take, you know, the little, the little tiny baby damage. Oh, painful. Okay, whatever. Anyway, of course it would have been nice to get a buffer, but... You know, all the same. I suppose it didn't really matter. Um, you know, it all works out. Alright, so. Let's just continue trying to survive. That's that's the whole plan. But look, we got Monkey's Paw, so it should be fine. I mean, obviously there's nothing we can do about healing more. And of course, I would prefer that we had. I'm in a position where I play my whole hand, and there I go again. Like, really giving it some conscious thought. You know, I'm like, hmm. But maybe... Okay, well, we definitely want to do that. That sucks, but, you know, it's what it is. Oh, I should have, well, no, even if I'd recursion, we would have just lost one of these, so it doesn't really make a huge difference, but, hey, I live with it. And, I mean, we still have our buffer on, so it could be so much worse. So, it's definitely plasma. Oh, God. Sure, sure, sure. Well, I get to retain the burn? What? I played equilibrium. Why didn't they let me retain my burn, you know? Listen, if this is all I got in my goodie bag from, from fighting the Hexaghost, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treasure those, those moments, you know? Even if maybe they weren't a good thing. I mean, I'm getting to a point where, like, Hyper Beam is maybe a tenable situation, but for the time being, um, not to be confused with the Time Eater, who we will be fighting at the end, uh, it's fine. Okay, so Recursion to just get the job done. That's, holy crap, a fossilized helix? That's where it's at, man. We already got a recursion plus. I'm gonna skip. Okay. How hard could it be? Sure, we take damage everywhere we go. We walk around, like, basically bragging about how much damage we managed to take. Should've consumed first. Oh my god. It's, is, it, is it possible to, like, live and make these kinds of mistakes on a regular basis? Like, am I just gonna drop dead one day and, like, not know why? And it's just gonna be, like, pure incompetence? Oh, we'll find out, I guess. Okay, so maybe I play buffer to see what I get free. Okay, and maybe it wasn't really what I wanted to be free. And oh, come on, come on. Okay, so that hurts, you know, taking a massive quantity of damage uh, just before another fight. And then after that, uh, simultaneously. Okay. 26 damage, so this guy will still be alive, huh? Huh. I mean, I guess I should play my free plasma. Or, free hyper beam. Oh, it didn't take! Because I had artifact on. Okay. So we still, we still take a little damage here. But maybe we get our self-repair this turn? We did. We did. Uh, we ask for things, and apparently we get them, and it's incredible. Okay, so we're kind of just exactly where we started, which is not, you know, a, like, the worst thing in the world. I'm very nervous, uh, and hoping that we will, like, finally get to, to beat this boss, because we've been playing these ascensions with the defect for a little while, and have kind of come up short routinely, so it would be really exciting to, uh, be able to actually kill him, you know. Like, and move on to Ascension 3. Then, of course, that puts us on the Watcher, who I routinely call the Mystic for some reason. That's just, that's just like a, a common mistake I manage. Uh, let's Recursion first, and then we'll do this. Okay, now we have just like a purely defensive, uh, orb, orb hand? Orb structure? Orb rainbow? You know. Uh, I mean, obviously it doesn't really matter if we stick it on that guy, but I'm probably going to kill this one this turn. So, I guess it would make sense. We kill this one. Perfect. 
Then we start stripping artifact, which hopefully, you know, we don't live long enough for that to ever matter. We'll do this, and then Hyper Beam is free, and now he's dead. Look at that. Too easy. Uh, hmm. Well, actually, I am going to take Barrage. I mean, with the way we have Runic Capacitor, the way we have other uh, situations like that going on, seems worth it. Okay, that's not what I wanted. But, I suppose I shouldn't complain. Cool. Okay. I mean, we got kind of an, an acceptable setup turn there. I mean, that's not the uh, worst thing that's ever happened to us. No powers this turn. We can recursion. We can do this. Okay. I think that was the correct order in which to play as well. So, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, oh, it hit Glacier. Okay, excellent work. You can do this. I definitely should have stormed first, but whatever. I do think that that's like, that's got to be maybe like a, a bad habit of mine, because I just feel like maybe it doesn't benefit anybody if I sit here and like just recount my misplays. I mean, yes, they're on my mind, you know, but maybe I shouldn't put you all through that because then you have to just watch me like, make the misplay in the first place, right? And then you also get to, like, listen to me be like, Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So maybe it's just, like, a little a little extra torture for, um, you know, all, all the fans back on Selvo. Oh, man, it is time, he says. I wish that perhaps maybe, maybe it could not be time. What do you think? Okay, well, we can dual cast this and not lose our buffer. I mean, we didn't have to dual cast it either, but, you know, we're just, we're just having fun. And hopefully the giant head allows us to continue just having fun. <laughs> Oof. Okay, cool. And I should save those strikes for the end. There we go. Okay, I mean, it does look pretty promising uh, when it comes to the possibility of our continued survival. And I'm always excited to hear that, you know. Okay, so then we do this. We got a little extra energy too. Hmm. We need 24 damage to him. And then we'll block. We'll block enough. So, sure, why not? Well, I mean, even if we wouldn't block enough, we still have our uh, buffer here. And it's probably not going to make too much of a difference. Ooh, okay. Meal ticket and prayer wheel. Both are a little useless at this stage in the game. But, uh, maybe that's not true. Um, hmm. Hmm. We could own Mori, but I think we're still going to hit a... Yeah, we're still going to hit oof, uh, a camp... Or not a campfire, a treasure chest. Okay. Oh, we have fossilized Helix as well. Right, okay. So that's how sometimes I wind up with more buffers than I expect to have. Always a good thing to keep in mind. No powers, huh? So we'll just consume and sure, I'll throw these out here. Get, uh, get the darkness orbs working on, uh, on their little project. Which I think is just counting as high as they can, but I'm proud of them. You know, like those those efforts, they're nothing to sneeze at. Okay, cool. We got another, we got a free buffer, which is what I was hoping for. And then, yeah, obviously Sunder's not going to hit him for anything. I mean, just one, but yeah. Okay, so we can storm and then capacitor. That's exactly how I would have wanted that to go. And then we can actually play hyper beam with completely wild abandon. Uh, at least once, because we have artifact on, which is pretty great. Hmm, I guess, I guess we'll do this, and then this. I, I don't know why, see, this is what I mean, I'm like, oh, I should really give this some thought, I say, as I look at a hand in which I can play everything, and like the order, you know, the order always matters, but it's a little negligible in this circumstance in particular. Okay, we do this, and this should almost get him killed, right? Cool. I mean, we can play Hyper Beam with Wild Abandon in this case anyway. Cool. I mean, the double energy is okay. Huh. I like Oddly Smooth Stone, but we're getting on towards the end. See? This is what I mean. Getting on towards the end. So I guess we'll go ahead and grab our keys. Oh, <laughs> that's always nice, isn't it? Uh, this is basically the same, except the question mark is towards the end, so I'll take that one in case we're in a worse position later, and then I can really gamble, you know? Okay. So I do this as, like, my setup. I hit this, and it hits rainbow. It hits rainbow! Yeah! Oh, yeah! That's what I want to see. 
Okay, hell yeah. And then we play this, and then we do a little damage. It wasn't enough to block everything still. Dang. That's, uh, I mean, I know he's no joke, but still. Oh, well, we should buffer and see what's free. Core Surge. And then dual cast. He's gonna hit us for three. Oh, no, he won't. He won't, because we'll frost. We'll frost. Oh, and thread and needle, too. So, okay. It could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, so something was free and it's Sunder, which is a pretty good one to actually have free. And then we'll do this, and we'll definitely barrage. I don't know why that, like, hit so slowly. Okay, cool. So now we don't have to worry about him this turn. Of course, we still have, like, what, two more turns to live through? So we'll see how we fare. But yeah, that's going to help us, too, that bullseye. Yeah, that should be pretty valuable for us. Cool. Oh my god, he's gonna hit us like a truck. Okay, well, we, we blocked. Okay. Oh, we had buffer. Wow, 77, huh? Like, he does not mess around. I wish he did, though. I do wish he did. Like, there's no way for me to evoke this one. I guess I could, like, draw cards. So I'm gonna block for 10. I could make him weak. I, I don't know, man. I just, I don't care that much about taking this damage, but then that is, like, that is quite a bit. I guess let's, let's drink this. Okay, perfect. That's more than enough to not have to take any damage, I think. Yep. Looking good, looking good. All right. The transient's got nothing on us. Go back to whence you came, please. Okay, Meteor Strike is pretty sick, and we, we wind up with... Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted in the very beginning. I know we're at 25 cards now. I know whose fault that is. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. I know, I know I should upgrade buffer. This is what I mean, you know? Oh, look, I may be making mistakes, but at least I'm the one making them, you know? I'm like, oh, yeah, this is a horrible decision. But, hey, I, I, I did pick it, so... At least I'll be able to, uh, I don't know, be upset with myself about it later. Okay, so either way, if it hits one of these guys twice... I'm really curious about the probabilities on that. I think I could probably do the math on it. Um, and then otherwise, though, if we did recursion and then we dual casted, we would gain 16 block. Which I think would be good. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll play it safe. I mean, we are getting pretty close to the boss, and if we're going to die, we should at least die to the time eater so that, you know, we can really feel, like, the full extent of, like, the suffering that it would take to not get these things. Yeah, so this is horrible. This is going to deal 7 damage. We need a little more than that, huh? How about this? Okay. Uh, yeah, we still we still need more than that, though. <laughs> Oof. Okay, I'm going to throw this one on her, and then deals 12 damage. Who could we get it to kill if it took 50% more? Not this guy, maybe this one? I mean, I'd rather this one die, though. Okay. Okay, so that didn't go, like, super hot for us. Yeah, we're gonna take, like, what, nine damage? Uh, and chewed through two of our buffers. Man, that's a pure, unadulterated suffering, you know? But it's all ours, I guess, so there's that. I mean, this is why I shouldn't let the deck get so thick, right? But, okay. This will definitely kill him. It's not just me making a mistake like last time. All right. That's okay. We could hyper beam. I feel like it's a little dangerous to hyper beam at this point, especially when we have bullseye on. Hey, yeah, the, the climbing goes. Good to see you. First time chatter. Very exciting. Um, you know, it's going okay. We're on Ascension 2 with the defect. So we beat Ascension 2 with the Ironclad and the Silent. We haven't beat Ascension 2 with the defect or the Watcher. So we're actually, you know, we have a fighting chance, right? We're only, like, this elite, a question mark, and a campfire away from the Time Eater. And it's the Time Eater. It's not um, the Awakened One. So, I mean, you know, it's looking okay for us. It's looking, you know, feasibly survivable for us, which is better than some of our other runs have looked. Oh, man, okay. So, yeah, we took a little damage, but that's basically my nickname at this point. Here, look, we'll even get an energy refund on that one. Okay, Data Disc is insane, and Dubu Doll is kind of nice, since if we ever see another uh, treasure chest again, it's going to be full of curses. 
<laughs> interesting is one way of putting it, yeah. But um, I really do, I do like the kind of like consume plus runic capacitor thing that we have going on. Um, because that's kind of, that kind of enabled us from the beginning. She's one of three random cards to add to your hand to cause zero this turn. I mean, discovery is fun. Oh, it's the Watcher. I am curious about this. Does this mean that she kind of like got corrupted on her mission? Like maybe she's, um, you know, I mean, obviously she's getting kind of held up here. And uh, I think probably becoming one of Niao's toys is not what she was uh, expecting. But I do think it's kind of interesting that that one's not told from the perspective of the actual, like, person there. Or maybe it is. Maybe, like, the Watcher went to go and track down the other Watcher who went missing. But then, I don't know. It seems weird that only one of them got, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of the everything but the kitchen sink defect X. You're not wrong. The only thing we're really missing is Claw, you know. Which I intentionally steered away from this time. Because uh, the last two runs, I was like dead set on trying to make a claw build work. So we got like a claw really early in both of them. And um, it was it was horrible. It just, it went so badly. We never, there was one of them where I literally never saw another claw card. And we made it, I like, think, to like the third floor. So it was just, like it was incredible. Like not incredible in a good way. <laughs> but it was incredible. So that was fun. Uh, I guess I'll Equilibrium. Okay, we wrote six cards, right? We can Sunder, and I guess I will. Not eager to take that Hyper Beam. Uh, let's see how this goes. Well, if I loop and it hits Meteor Strike, I'd be really happy. Wow, okay, so, you know, I got it, which is nice. We're looking at three cards we can still play. Which means... Oof. Yeah, okay, so that makes it, you know, possible to play it. I guess I may as well, because I don't want to be stuck at the next one. I mean, these aren't incredible numbers over here, but we can get our focus back, you know, if we get the right draw. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little asterisk there. That's just not really worth it. And I mean, even if we hit him, we're not going to break his block. If we used all three, we would, right? So we'll block one of his attacks and the other two will take the buffer, which is a little, a little brutal to be sure. Uh, but that's, that's how it goes, I suppose. Okay. Well, I mean, at least things are free for us, huh? Okay. So I'll start with that one because it doesn't matter, I suppose. I guess we'll recursion. I don't want to dual cast that since we already have too much energy. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll gain two focus. I guess we, you know, are going to have to, you know, uh, fight the heart if we survive this. But, you know, it really does. Like, if you gain focus, you do eventually become not just, like, so strong, but also, like, so, like, tanky, too. Because if you have any kind of frost, you know. Oh, my God, an echo form? I mean, we'll take it. Nine cards. Oh. Is five more block worth it, I guess? But yeah, I mean, you're right, because the only thing that doesn't get impacted is, you know, of course, like, the plasma orbs. So, you can just keep throwing stuff. <laughs> and anything you throw out there is going to help you out. Okay. Well, there's no point with the 27. Maybe I'll recursion this one. Oh, it's going to play twice. So, whoops. Well, I guess I should have rainbowed for sure then, but... Right. I got, I've gotten really spoiled with Menti Spire. It is, um... Clearly, it's slowing me down there. Oh, he's going to heal the full, too, isn't he? Mm, I don't love that. Sure, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, not full, but I mean, like, he's going to heal back to that midway point, no matter how much damage I do there, so I guess it does not matter too much. I'd rather consume before I Meteor Strike, but obviously that will that will make it so that Meteor Strike is not playable. So we'll do this. Oh, Jesus, that's going to get a little nuts. All right, well, whatever. Um, hmm. Somehow I, I still, like, haven't evoked enough of these that I can play Glacier. It's, we're in hell. Like, for sure. Just in hell. At least I know, though, now, you know? I mean, look at this. Six Plasma and I couldn't play <laughs> Glacier. Oh, my God. Alright, well we're at 12, 12 energy out of, 
uh, four this turn, which is nice. Seven, so we got five cards we can play. Um, he's not gonna kill me this turn, so that's nice. No, in fact, I'm going to kill him and give him an energy refund. That's right. Okay, okay. Now, now the heart. Oh, this is not a deck that I would say is optimized for fighting the heart. <laughs> so let's uh, let's see how it goes. See if we get a chance to spin up at all, or if uh, you know, suffering is the plan. Either way, uh, I'm excited to find out. Okay, storm becomes innate. Meteor strike doing more damage. Core search just does more damage too, right? This triggers it twice. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. This makes Discovery not exhaust? Okay, we'll do that. I don't think I realized that. I do kind of neglect the, uh, the gray cards. The colorless cards, that's their- Okay, so Pantograph is a must, right? Um, and then maybe- Do we have anything that exhausts? Like, I mean, I, I basically just- I kind of just screwed myself on if I wanted to use Dead Branch there. We got this one. Core Surge exhausts. That's it. Core Surge is the only thing that exhausts. Bruce, five random potions. We can take them all. So let's do it. I mean, Dead Branch is cool, but with only one possible exhaust. Oh, blup, blip, bloop. Very nice. He, he used to be... He used to be like us? Jesus, I don't know what happened to him then. Okay, well, I mean, another consume is cool. I don't think we have any curses. So nothing we need to, like, remove. Maybe I'll take another consume. I like to see him. <laughs> I like the it did it change? I think it might have changed the order of the blips and bloops there. But anyway, we'll find out. Or no, I will not find out ever again, perhaps. But anyway. Let's hope it hit something I want it to. Hmm. Not quite, huh? Okay, so I can't prevent it from wasting my buffer, huh? Well, we do this, and I guess I could I could gain some... Oh, no, no, we have plated armor already. So, or I mean, we have thread and needle. But same same thing in this case. Uh, okay. Cool. I would like it if they weren't hitting, like, quite so hard. That is something that I would really appreciate. We could reboot. I don't know. Maybe I should just look for the block. I mean, because well, otherwise we're just going to play, like, Sunder and Bullseye, though. Okay, fine. I'll Bullseye this one. Oh, yeah, and he has an artifact anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, cool. We'll throw this out here, and then we can Barrage. And I still want to be facing this guy, because I don't want to deal with, you know, the rest of it. Okay, so, ouch. Wow, that first one took our buffer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they only hit a little harder the higher you go, right? No, no worries then. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like we're we're all we're all good. Okay, so I'll make something else free. Um, obviously, we'll want to turn around. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're not taking quite as much this time, which is nice. I like taking a little less. I am kind of trying to save up, but we didn't get, like, any heals. No fruit juice, no region, no blood potion. I also think it's really weird that the blood potions are, um, the color that they are. Aren't they just, like, white? Which, I mean, I don't know whose blood that is. Is that, like, coolant for the, the defect or something? Look, man, I would take a stack, I guess. I mean, it's not, I guess, that useful this turn, but... Okay, so it's... Oh, well, I can keep, I can keep it in my hand. And then, you know, we'll hit this one, because he doesn't have any block on him. Of course, he will this turn. Jesus, 32. Not 32, just 30 also. Ouch, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll buffer, and I'll get a free stack. Uh, okay. I'd love to consume. You know, that'd be pretty great. Uh, and that puts me in a dual cast that's free. Jesus. Well, I mean, we ought to try to kill him. But then that means this guy will hit us for way more and I can't turn back around, huh? So, I guess I'll just try to block. I mean, this one won't. This one will. Let's maybe drink this block potion. Okay, let's see. Then we take nothing. Okay, whew. Oh, my goodness. Oh, are the blood potions ironclad exclusive? I had no idea, but... 
I mean, I would believe it. It's, uh, even weirder, though. His blood is white now? Is that just because he, like, made a deal with a demon? Is that, is that what happens? Like, they change the color of your blood to, I don't know, represent that? Okay. Wow, died to mercury hourglass. Okay, a blood vial. Um, it wasn't quite what I was looking for. Huh. I mean, these aren't terrible. You know, they give us some draw. 27 card deck. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we, uh, what we pick now. But, okay. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, we have enough to start with a meteor. God, but then we don't play our consume. If we ignore meteor, then we get rainbow. Hang on a second. We start with leap. Because if we don't, we lose our buffer. So that precludes the, the meteor strike, which is fine. Yeah, good good point. I mean, yeah, he can just be drinking something else's blood. I guess it does not have to be Ironclad's blood himself. It's not like he's, like, Lance Armstronging it up. And, like, you know, before he goes on the runs, he, like, draws some of his own blood out, saves it in bottles, and then, like, takes it during the runs. You're probably right. That's a, maybe not a necessity there. Okay, cool. So we block those those heartbeats. We don't lose the buffer this turn. It just it sucks when you lose buffer to beat of death. You know what I mean? Like like in this case, right? We would have to just lose it to beat of death if we played anything. So I'm not going to. You know? And of course, yes, it'll still take our buffer. But at least it negated 50 damage as opposed to 1. Oh, uh, Lance Armstrong, you know, would like draw his own blood out. He's like a, the, the biker, you know? Um, and so he would, you know, that's like a common thing, I think, that like sometimes professional athletes do, where they like draw their own blood out so that they can have it like um, just the red blood cells be infused back into their body shortly before a competition. It seems like a really like weird and interesting thing. So I, I'm, I'm interested in it. Okay, a random power card seems great. Seems like it could save our lives. Okay, if I play this, though, I can't, I can't play anything else this turn. So let's storm first. Loop next, then buffer, and then that that's still, it, it took our buffer. That's garbage. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. I mean, I'll, I'll be real with you. It's, it's a kind of strange, strange thing to do, but I think professional athletes do it sometimes. Okay, we may as well take basically everything at that point. Um, okay, I can throw a defend out there. Hell yeah. Do this. I don't want a free hyper beam. Why, why are you gonna do this to me? I don't even want a dual cast. Like I'm trying to hold on to these these precious fragile blocks, you know. All right. Uh, I have some block on right now, which like thank God. Um. Hmm. So equilibrium. We fusion. We core surge. He's using this for 48, right? That won't kill us. Um. And then. Yeah, I don't really need to do an attack this turn. I'm cool with it. This is a completely acceptable situation. I mean, you know, minus the part where the heart's definitely going to kill us. That part's, like, less acceptable. Uh, nice. So how about we recursion? This is the best time to play Barrage, unfortunately. I should take this Dex Potion. Oh, Shoot, I wanted to consume, but I think I have to Glacier so we can get a little extra block so we don't die there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you get it. Smoothie of raw eggs, whole milk, orange juice, glass of your own blood. If it's good enough for the Ironclad, it's good enough for me, you know? Like, he could do his own little ads. Okay, so we'll throw this out here so we keep our cards. We do this. Okay, and then I hold on to this defend. It won't stay, yeah, it won't stay zero, which sucks. But, you know, whatever. Oh. Okay, so he's hitting us for whatever 6 times 12 is, which I need to memorize my times tables so that I can effectively play Slay the Spire. Um, but, I mean, we're looking at more than, more than 36 is what we're looking at. I, I know that one. So we do this. And I do this. And then I Meteor Strike because it will evoke. I thought I would evoke some of these. It didn't because it hates me, but that's okay. I can evoke this one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but, you know. 72. Okay, okay. So we're looking at 67 right now. Well, I mean, 
then we may as well do a little damage on the way out, you know? Oh. What? What? We're alive by one? We're alive by one, everybody? Welcome. This is, this is terrible good news. Uh, okay. I'll recursion this one, because I want to keep it. Uh, I can't, I can't afford to consume because we need the, we need the blocks. 44, we'll have enough. If I consume, we'll lose this orb slot, but each of these will do three more, which still doesn't work out to being what we would like, but I think we can survive it still, right? If these are both 11, 22, yeah, that's enough. So I'll do that. Okay, so we fully block this. I mean, we basically have to fully block. There's kind of no other way to block for us anymore. Um, Alright, so that's bad. Uh, we, can't, we can't play anything this turn, because if we play anything, we'll die. So we're not going to play anything. Uh, Alright. Okay, we got to defend, so we can afford to play something. We can play Rainbow. We will block not enough? Not enough. Okay, so we have to, like, evoke one, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. What are we at now? 7 and 33, which would be 40, and we only have one. So we're not going to survive by a small margin. That's a real shame. But, you know, hey, uh, desecrated. Not quite the top. I like how we get desecrated, like, before we die, right? Like, anti-humously, I suppose? As opposed to posthumously? Incredible. Uh, but we did win, so, you know. Oh, we like shiny. Yeah, we did get, like, just a, a kind of a truly disturbing number of relics, so that went pretty well. Alright, well, if we're here, we may as well, you know, gamble for two, and, uh, see if we can make this, uh, this is what, elites are deadlier? Well, what are these? Like, what, more elites? Yeah, more elites and normal enemies are deadlier. Easy, right? Too easy. Yeah, I was I was quite shocked at uh, how close that was. Because I, I really thought, um, I thought we'd be dead, like, before he got to the second beat of death buff. So, oh, yes. It's so nice when I, like, restart these runs and I see that I didn't die before I made it to the first boss. <laughs> you know, like, what a relief. Okay, so thing is, okay, I'm probably not going to do that one. Miracles, all right. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the map. So we can get 100 gold and what? Hit like this early shop? But if we hit this shop, then we can't hit this elite. And I like to try to hit those on the first floor, if, you know, just so that I don't put myself in a position where like, you know, I die over a chance to fight the heart that I don't want to do, you know, towards the end of a run. That's always horrible. I want to do this. I know this is kind of crazy, but I'm, I'm interested. Rive is not good, but, you know, there are worse things. Shuffle two random, sorry, three random skills, and they cost zero. Let's do it. Chrysalis is fun. Okay, and then we'll take this path, and then who, who knows what it will bring for us, but also who cares? We'll totally survive. Two scrawls. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Um, probably those two scrawls aren't really going to make or break us on this one. I'm not, like, super impressed with them. But you know what? I mean, like, why not? We're here. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm so tempted to, like, play my miracle just so I can take this, uh, this expunger, you know, and have, like, a, you know, an okay expunger, but really, that's unnecessary. Just smack him, okay? Really. If you were a little bit, come on, you know, if I was just a little bit less eager to get myself killed, then perhaps I would get killed less, you know? That's, that's my thought. Okay, I'll take two damage. That's true. Yeah, it didn't make that X cost card, you know. Cost zero. Okay, we got Scrawl again. Oh, hello, nice to see you again, Rive. Sure, let's take it. I mean, I was kind of hoping this time we would get, um, I always try to call it Wrath. It's Eruption. I never remember that. I also never remember this one's called Vigilance. I mean, that's, a. Uh, I don't know, it feels obscure. Uh, so if we take no damage then what, I'm really, I'm really, like, just expecting and relying on drawing enough strikes or something with this eruption. Uh, well, it looks like literally one strike would be enough to do it, so I guess that's fine. I like Fear No Evil. I mean, I feel like it kind of helps get you out of a jam a little bit there. 
Chrysalis hasn't really given me like kind of a focus for the deck, you know? I'll take it, but see the problem with me is I'm basically obsessed with just trying to get um, I'm always really excited for alphas and I'm always really excited for pressure points. Sure. We'll get rid of those. Oh, I love waking up strangely fleet of foot. You know, I can always tell. I get up and I'm like, oh, wow, I'm so fleet of foot today. Oh. I guess I should have just put it the other way then. Because I was going to do that and then just play a block. Okay, whatever. Last time we, like, basically didn't use Miracle. And this time I'm going to use Miracle prematurely. Listen, at least I know. At least I have a plan, you know. Oh, no self-repair? Okay, I'm also interested in retain builds. Like, those I feel like, like my brain can grapple with. But I mean, I guess we could take a crescendo if we leaned into the other one. <laughs> Premature miracle, how nice. God, I really shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't. Mm. I just, you know, I want it to be a fair fight, you know? And we're just, we're so strong, you know? <laughs> I wouldn't want this guy to, uh... Well, I mean, this still is worth more than a strike, so I guess I should play it. I wouldn't want him to feel, like, intimidated by us, you know? Okay, so he doesn't like he doesn't like the skills, and this would just give me more skills, which is also bad. But I don't really have anything better to play. Oh god, it gave me alpha. Oh, oh man, it's just those alpha builds are so fun, you know. I, I know I should not behave in this manner. I understand. Oh god, this is probably gonna get us killed. Just my wild abandon of strengthening him. Yeah, see, it's already looking not so good for me. Like like we can crescendo. Right, but I can't kill him this turn. Even with even with this. Yeah, see this this might just like kill us with it is so so quickly. Okay, I can enter calm. Uh which you know, that's nice. Oh I should I should have done this first, because now I have to see if we can survive at all. Which, you know, it seems kinda iffy. If we crescendo and strike and vigilance back, oh, Jesus, he's hitting for 45. Oh my God. Okay, so we'll try this one again because that was a little too, you know, that was uh, a premature miracle, if you will. <laughs> let's, uh, let's head back and try again. See, this is a much simpler sort of question for us. The question is, can I hit an elite um, with... Theoretically, I can hit an elite, uh, you know, with a with one HP. So we'll we'll give this a shot, and we can still pivot over here because you know we're gonna just be crushing it so much that we can forward think like that, you know. Okay, excellent. Well, the smoke bomb isn't really gonna help us there, unfortunately. I like like water. I mean, we could really lean into that same kind of build. Oh, I'll take, like, water. I mean, at least it's valuable even if you never switch out of calm. Like, it does kind of give you a reason to, to do it. Um, sure. Not that that saved me last time. Okay, so that's bad. But as long as neither of these are combats, we'll be fine. We'll be just fine. Come on, fingers crossed. I like a deceive reality. I like how sometimes it saves my life. Whew, okay, 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 we're doing good. I mean, maybe not with that 18 damage. Okay, just don't be a combat. Oh, it was not a combat. Look at us go. Okay, um, I'll do this too. I know, I know, I know. But listen, as long as it's not the trio. Okay, so that's bad, and I kind of called it. But, you know, um, it's fine. It's totally fine. Look, we'll like water, and we'll do this, and then everything will be great. So we won't take any damage here, and if we can just draw anything to do attacks, I know I just got rid of a strike, so maybe it might be a little more tricky, but okay, cool. So free elite. We got a meat on the bone. I probably shouldn't take these zany cards if I'm, like, looking for the stability of, of anything. If I'm looking for stability, I should probably quit taking cards like Chrysalis and Foreign Influence, but, you know, what can I say? You know, I, I look up to our politicians. Um, okay, so maybe all for one is not going to help us very much. Bowling bash. I don't know. Let's just do endless agony for this. 
Um, we don't need the safety, but maybe it would be nice. Ugh, I hate to kind of waste it like that, but that's cool, that's cool. Um, nice. We get a like water and a vigilance out here, so free five block. It's like playing an extra defend card every turn. Wow, okay. He doesn't have to do that, you know? Like, that's, that's like, for free he's choosing. He's choosing this, this path of violence. Okay. Well, it's probably a bit unnecessary, but, uh, I mean, what isn't? Okay. <laughs> I don't like that, but it should be fine, right? I mean, sure, I have these turns where I don't draw any strikes, but, oh, no. Oh, no. They're, they're testing me. I am being tested. Listen, we'll just take this one, okay? And, and we won't lean hard into it unless they give us another pressure points. Okay, and look, there's no way I, like, I'm betting on making it. Do we, do we take a curse? No, we didn't. Hmm. I'll take a question mark. Oh, of course, I love spinning the wheel. Clearly, I love to gamble. So let's, uh, let's see what we get. Okay, we got some gold. I would have preferred a relic, and I also would have preferred to remove a card, but things I wouldn't have preferred are getting shivved by the little gremlin. So, you know, I'm, I'm pleased. Huh. I like a reach heaven. I mean, I like through violence, which I think is kind of the the obvious part there. I guess we'll hit this one, because we're going to want to kill him fastest. It's fine. It's fine. Two damage is fine. It's fine. It's not like, you know, the plays routinely come down to two damage at the end or anything. So if we do this, then we do this and then that. Okay, awesome. Yeah, look. Okay, so Sanctity, I enjoy. You know, um, we do have, like, foreign influence, deceive reality. It's it's possible. You know, I'm over here like, oh, I can't even, like, mentally handle, like, these, these difficult cards. And you'll catch me doing weird stuff, like, being like, oh, I love Sanctity. It's, like, so intuitive. Okay, and I wanted to, you know, put that, that um, panic card in our hand, if you will. Sort of like a panic room, but in this case, you know, we're relying on a card. I can't really pressure points them. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. I think Vigilance is worth it this time, because this way we can just stay in calm and keep, like, cashing in on that sweet, sweet five, uh, five block. Ugh. But you, you see what I'm saying. At least we're not, like, buffing him anymore. Surely I learned from last time, right? Right? Okay, the 24 damage is a little much. Maybe I should have played that Vulnerable Potion. It's not too late. Maybe we play the Vulnerable Potion and we try to kill him with this and it works. Okay, awesome. Pretty sick. I don't know, I'll just skip it for now. You know, I'm always like, oh, I should keep a thin deck. I should keep a thin deck. Um, it costs zero this turn. Oh, that's so good though. Yeah, yeah, listen. Try to let your weird fascination with pressure points go. I think it's really just because I love poison builds, and in my mind, like, I've, I've twisted um, pressure points into some kind of freaky poison almost thing. <laughs> I, yeah, very interesting card choices. You know, I really appreciate your delicacy. Um, let's see. I guess we do this one. And then, whoop, no, 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 we'll do this. Maybe I should have duplicated, but it's fine. It's fine. Should I just, like, flee this combat? I guess I am looking for a card. But, you know, just any new cards that maybe help the deck kind of cohese. Cohese? That's not. This is not how people talk. I try really hard, but... Okay, so Vulnerable seems pretty sick. This just deals 14 damage. It's not, like, 14 damage to all. It's not, like, die, die, die. Yeah, yeah, cohere. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the word. It's, it's hard to speak sometimes, you know? Okay, so they're doing 10, 10, so 26. Wow. That's impressive. All right, well, we can get a little closer. See, maybe I should have run. Slimes are no joke. And there was only one vulnerable, so we didn't really take advantage of it. Excellent, excellent. Okay, at what point do I cut my losses? Because what can we really do here? We can kill one. Because I'm not even, like, if I do Eruption, then we just run out of energy. You know what? Like, fine. Okay, it's a sunk cost. It's a sunk cost. Clearly, the slimes were too much for me. Why couldn't they have been, like, gremlins? 
normally I feel pretty confident with 40. Um, but I just don't. <laughs> I just don't feel pretty confident with that. I guess it's nice. Evaluate is okay. I mean, I don't know. At this point, maybe we should be looking for, um, not establishment. I mean, we may as well just hit him, because if I have to play two cards to make that happen, you know, just to draw some more, it's probably not going to work out for us. Sure, look for foreign influence. 24 should almost be enough, right? But what if we just used it as some kind of freaky setup turn, hmm? Freaky setup turn? Here I come. It's like a... Yeah, that's true. I mean, I obviously should be playing her a little bit more like a glass cannon. Um, I'm just, like, I'm just burned, man. I have, like, such a hard time with the Watcher. I mean, you know, presumably because she's, like, actually, you know, a complex and interesting sort of character to play. But, you know, I feel like I, I die a lot with her, and I'm like, oh, I should, I should be more careful, you know? Okay. Really? Okay, whatever. Oh, my pressure points. This saved me. It reinforces all of my, uh, all of my previously held beliefs. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah. She's kind of like a, like when you are like kind of leaning into that glass cannon sort of thing. Like when you're doing, um, you know, like a divinity build or like mantra, you know. Um, or any kind of like switching between them build, you know. Um, switching stances build, I guess. Um... She is kind of just like a crazy ironclad, you know? Like just a much more extreme sort of ironclad. So maybe that's okay. Oh yeah, yeah we'll block enough from that. Uh, cool, let's not attack though, so we'll take, we'll take damage afterwards though, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, nice. <laughs> so here I am, slow playing this character that's not meant to be slow played. And I was like, but why do things go badly for me? <laughs> well, you know, keeps it exciting, right? Okay. So at least this will slowly build up. I mean, although a 14 card deck with only one pressure points in a pressure points deck is a little absurd. But whatever, I suppose. None of that was any good. Uh, sure. And I guess I'll throw another, another insight out there. I mean, until the insights start filling up our hands, you know. Okay. Well, that'll be really cool, actually. Like, that's something, yeah, I'm not, like, super, like, uh, informed about. Um, I think I've played up to Ascension 5, um, but it's it's been, uh, like, quite some time, so... Um, the only thing I really, like, remember is, like, oh, watch out, eventually you'll stop healing to full after your, uh, after your boss fights. So I know, like, that's something I need to look out for, but some of those get crazy, right? And, I mean, there's even, like, unique curses for it, yeah? Like, a Cinder's Bane, which is kind of nuts. Uh, okay, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, and it, it's true, too, that you can, you can skip scale your damage typically much easier than you can like scale your defense right like the defect can kind of scale defense can I get a little crazy you know because if you like get your focus up high enough and then you really focus on like frost or you know whatever um then you kind of survive that but I think if you're like okay these safeties are trying to fall in my hand Jesus Christ I need to start playing them really Okay, uh, can I even, do I have room? Okay, cool, nice. I'm not playing that, uh, that one. But yeah, but I mean, when it comes to, like, actually trying to, like, scale up defense, there's rarely a way to do that. He's got reinforced body, too, I guess, which kind of, you know, works out, potentially. But, yeah, if you're just, like, playing characters normally, you usually have the ability to deal way more damage than you do, um, to deal like just tons of block. Does that make sense? Okay, whatever. I mean, he'll die sooner or later, hopefully sooner. That's true. That's true. Yeah, the head is kind of like a, a quick, like, temp check there. It's kind of fun. 
Okay, so... I, I mean, okay. So we take devotion, and then we just lean into, like, getting cards that, you know, hit multiple times or whatever. I, that seems, that seems fatal to me at this point. And I mean, I'm almost there on my neck down in terms of, you know, playing so defensively. It doesn't really matter uh, if I can see enemy intents, but let's just, let's just try. Okay, so like, there's about a ton of elites right there. You can get three. You can get three, that's it. Okay, I actually don't hate the left path. So, we'll try it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. The heart does make a lot of sense. But, yeah, I was thinking, you know, the giant head, you know, he, he also kind of, like, hits you really hard if you don't kill him quick enough. So, it didn't work. Okay, so we'll do foreign influence. Hmm. I don't know if that'll actually work. Sure. A free through violence? Why not, I guess. Okay. Well, we didn't play, like, water. But, you know, we're close. Uh, okay, sure. I mean, that helps us get through his armor without ever actually having to get through his armor. So that's good for us. I guess I'll opt to take no block. Plus, this will build up on me anyway. Okay, cool. We got a through violence. Is this, is this the time when I can afford to do that? Oh, hello, Sanctity. Yeah, sure. I mean, we're going to retain through violence and we're building up Mantra. At this point, we can kind of slow play it. I don't think it's going to buff itself much. So we do this, and then soon, soon we hit um, Divinity, and then we should be good to go. Sure, we do that. I guess we get to see reality here. Okay, so next turn we get it, right? We should enter Divinity. <laughs> He is, it's true. He does kind of take it easy on, he, on you and gives you like several turns before he tries to kill you. Okay, well prostrate is, I mean, it's not horrible, I guess, but oh man, I don't know. Oh Jesus. So we've already removed three strikes, which means this will give us, you know, an additional, hmm, hmm, okay, whatever. We're going to try to lean hard into a divinity pivot, so... You know, maybe it'll work out for us. Okay, so we can afford to hit one of them so he doesn't hit us. I have some, you know, reticence about this. Uh, okay. Seven damage, last card play was an attack. Okay, so we'll do that. What? Didn't we just play? Oh god, it was a skill. It was a skill. Right, I was thinking the last card I played was the, like, attacks to the bites to get him down. But that's not the case at all. So excellent work. Uh, Cool. Like, obviously, having the birds that are flying be the ones that were also dealing a lot of damage, or, like, just buffed themselves is, like, not super cash money. But, I guess I'll just try to get this one killed before he starts flying again. Alright. I like how the two that you have to watch out for are the heart and the head, you know? I mean, that sounds about right. Uh, okay, so we can, we can do something here, and it's heal a tiny amount. Man, this run just seems like it's going to be super cursed, you know? But maybe it won't be somehow. I mean, sure, let's do a safety. And they're hitting us for quite a lot. So we could do that, and then I think we won't take any damage? No, we'll take some damage. Okay, cool. Almost. So, last card was an attack. Okay. And then we'll get this and this. Okay. Neat. Of course, if I can't kill them both this turn, or... Oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, Reptomancer, those daggers, like, becoming just 25 forever after that initial go is pretty nuts. So this is not enough to kill them, huh? Okay, hang on, let's defend and sanctity... Okay, cool. And we're not, like, out of divinity or anything. So we can technically hit this one three times. But we can definitely just kill this one. Which I'm gonna do. And then if we eruption, we won't have enough to get into vigilance. So. Maybe we won't do that. And I guess at the end, if we're not gonna play anything else, we may as well do this so that we can get extra. Oh, are you serious? 
72 damage on turn 2, so she's like worse than the heart on Ascension 20, huh? I think it's really interesting the way you sort of have to like... You kind of have to craft your decks completely differently depending on like what you're doing, you know? Which of course, like yes, that makes sense kind of as like a, a basic thing, right? But I mean like if you know you want to fight the heart, that's like there's a different sort of build that you need if you're going to try to fight the heart versus just like just try to win. You know, that's like completely different. So I think that's kind of a, an interesting one. Okay. Lower the cost. We're really looking for something that's going to hit multiple times. I and mean, we're looking for things that are going to synergize well. Yeah, she seems pretty spooky in that situation. Hmm. I guess we should close line? Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even know. Um... So, I guess we do this, and I guess we go ahead and we heal a little bit since she's going to hit us for, you know, eight. Ooch. Okay, not great. Sure. Uh, I don't, I'm not really drawing anything I desperately want. I'll pretend like we're healing a lot. Maybe we'll get Magic Flower, and then, wow, we would heal one additional point. And wouldn't that be something? We haven't actually played like water yet. Okay, we have to play this one. Sure. We'll just go ahead and fill the deck up with dazes so that, like, we die to just these low-ranking low ranking enemies. I think that's, you know, something we're definitely hoping for. Does it happen right now? I hope it does not happen right now. That looks like they're gonna kill us, though. So that hurts. The duplication potion is not super useful. Rip on this pivot, huh? That did not exactly, you know... That's true. Yeah, just anything that does, like, three times... Well, three times more damage, right? So when you get into Divinity, um, the stance is, like, gaining strength in a in a weird roundabout sort of way, right? Okay, um, well, that's very unfortunate for me, but I am unfortunately out of time, so I was doing a really short little run there. Um, but anyway, so I will go ahead and wrap up the stream here, but thank you all for joining, and don't forget to um, go ahead and follow if you want to, you know, watch me and my misplays later on. Uh, thanks for, for showing up, and uh, I had a great time as always. Bye.